Uh, my experience has been that everywhere I go, every hotel, the uh, mini bar has the same thing in it. It's Pringles and Toblerone. Now, is the Pringles person the best salesperson in the world? Why, is, why are Pringles in every single mini bar? What, what's, what is it with Pringles? We, we figure sooner or later, the government will come out and say, that's a balanced meal. Oh, OK. <laughs> so you want to be ahead of the government. <laughs> but uh, you know, in truth, uh, Pringles are, uh, uh, obviously, the brand, brand is known broadly. Uh, they're packaged well. Uh, you know, the, they tend to be these uh, cans about this big of Pringles. Uh, but people seem to like it. Uh, and and Toblerone, this, it's the same. These are two, two bits of sort of ultimate quick comfort food. When I check out of a hotel um, sometimes, and I do check out, they say, did you have anything in the mini bar last night? Now, I hate to stand there in front of people and say, I had some gummy bears, I had some whatever else. I just say, no, no, I assume they'll figure it out later. This is another reason why we lose money on the mini bar. OK, so, <laughs> so why? Because everybody who has those Pringles, nobody wants to admit it. Right, right. So do people actually admit, I had Pringles last night, I have an inventory of all the things I had last night, or do people just say, I had nothing, and then you later go in the room and you charge them later? That's right. I mean, that's, that's the way this works, okay. is uh, uh, somebody will go into the room later and take an inventory of the minibar and see what was there. Now, in, in some, you, you probably noticed this, some of the minibar fridges are set up to be self-reporting. So you'll take you'll take well, a, I, I, a, a I, can I, of beer out. I and know that, and I don't like that sometimes because if I go to pick up something and then all of a sudden, and then I realize I really don't want that, and I put it back down, it's already charged. You better drink it. Yep. <laughs>